Well, the Demo Room project was developed for the IAC show in Barcelona as part of Yamaha Group's SoundXR Solution Showcase. SoundXR involved from day one the three companies and it's fantastic to have inside the same group all the resources and skill that allow us to have a global perspective, a global vision on immersive audio. I think that one of the forces of the solution that is proposed is the combination of the technologies of the three marques, Steinberg, Yamaha and et Nexo, et on a vraiment un écosystème qui est proposé, qui est, qui est rare en fait, de, de la source jusqu'à la diffusion, et ça s'adapte à toutes les échelles de projet. Donc vraiment, je trouve que c'est un, une solution extrêmement intéressante, de ce que j'ai entendu ici en tout cas, et de ce qu'on a nous a proposé, c'est un projet entier. The room was designed as black box space optimized for immersive audio demonstration. The integration was done in collaboration with Acoustic Network, a long-term Nexo partner. The audio setup included a total of 24 P8 loudspeakers for surrounds and 5 P15 as frontal system. Additionally, we deployed 16 ID24 for the elevation plan. And for low frequency effects, we used 3L18 subwoofers plus 4L18 one in each corner dedicated to bass management. It delivered balance and control low hand distribution all across the audience. The event also marked the official launch of the new Nexo DME 10, a high performance digital matrix controller designed to deliver precise 3D audio rendering and seamless integration within complex sound environments. So, welcome DME 10, the world's most powerful and cost-effective immersive process. I think what makes DME 10 really special is uh, that it makes it accessible to everyone. Up until recently, immersive audio has really been the kind of the preserve of the elite. You know, it's been so expensive to um, to pull off an immersive show. It, it's been it's been cost prohibitive a lot of the time. Um, what this does is brings immersive audio to a point where everyone can enjoy it, not just the lucky few. The DME 10 brings the ability to offer a full immersive solution to Nexo um, in any type of vertical market and for any type of customer. Um, it gives us more flexibility in the market, in the solutions that we offer. Um, and with the ongoing developments in firmware and software planned over the next few years for DME 10, then the sky's the limit. There is nothing we can't do with this product. The soundtrack for the demo room was created by Sebastian Frost, a renowned British sound designer. His expertise in crafting immersive audio environments played a crucial role in showcasing the full potential of the SoundXR solution. Normally I'm telling a story about a specific product, and in this case, it's actually demonstrating a product and what it can do. And so, that effective carte blanche in terms of what to create and, and uh, what to come up with actually really, really sort of um, challenged me for quite some time. And then I started getting ideas and trying to get a story and of course the key things for this are to demonstrate the seamless movement of lots of things. It's great. I mean, the great thing about this, I've managed to use three different systems. So we started at Nexo in a, effectively a boardroom, so an office room uh, with one system and then moved to the conservatoire, which was uh, an even better tuned system. And that's the first time we had the piano in the space and hearing the piano work together with the soundtrack, the live piano. Uh, the, the magic piano that plays itself and having that work with the sound system was really, really exciting. And what's been even nicer is coming here to an even bigger space with a greater resolution and more loudspeakers and, and even better tuning is how, how little I've had to modify things at each stage of the process. The next step's the difficult part. So now all the work begins. So our first stage is to set up 12 immersive demonstration centres around the world so that our customers and their customers can demonstrate and fully understand the capabilities of the system. And then it's a case of designing solutions 
customers all over the world. We already have some inquiries for the new product, um, but that will only grow, and that's when the real work begins. The next step is spread the word, support, train, train, and train again, deploy worldwide, and most important, keep the dynamic.